Hey everybody. Well, before I begin, I just want to show you show off my little turtle. See my turtle? Ooh. Yeah. So my turtle. I don't know. I. Hmm. Help me name my turtle. I've got to figure out a name for this turtle. Anyway, I'm putting the turtle right here. So tonight. Even there he's cutie, he's a cutie. Ha ha ha. Tonight. I just watched David Letterman and he had Katie Couric on. The reason I'm looking down is because she's actually right here on my computer screen. But it was really, really funny because, you know, I have to be honest, Katie Couric is sitting in the chair of giants. Walter Cronkite among them as anchors for the CBS Evening News. And I remember in my, my first NFL draft, 2006, the legendary Paul Zimmerman, Zimmerman the great sports writer for Sports Illustrated, who I think has been in ill health for some time now, a few years, said to me, well, <clears throat> why Katie Couric? Okay, she tests well in focus groups. And I was all for and really excited that Katie was going to be the first female anchor in this major position. She's been there, now she's going to do something else. And that kind of saddens me. I mean, here's Katie basically saying, yeah, I'm, my contract's up in June. Now, I understand uh, that you're uh, thinking of uh, taking another job. Um, I have no idea, actually. You're, you're, I didn't realize that your contract is uh, when? Soon? Yeah, it's up in on the, the beginning of June, June 4th, I think. No. But then, what gets me is, if you, if you saw the telecast before that, it was mostly Dave during the, doing the talking and Katie doing a lot of listening, and kind of chopping at the bit and wiggling her leg because she was anxious to, you know, get on with it. Come on, talk about my leaving. And Dave was sending the message, hey, you've got these important issues that you as anchor have to deal with because you have to tell us about it and you have to know it. And Katie proved it. Of course, she knew it. She didn't have to prove it, but she did. But the point that I'm making is that what I loved is that Dave really said, hey, look, this is not something you do for five years. It's not a temp job. Well, this is what he said. Yeah, but let me tell you something. Once you take the anchor chair, that's what you do. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not like... Is that a it, CBS law? <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it's not like it's a temp gig, you know? No, five years isn't too temporary, though. Look at Walter Cronkite. Look That's at Tom Brokaw. Look, look at Brian Williams. Look at, look at uh, Peter Jennings. Look at all these people. They, they get in it, they saddle up, and they ride into the sunset. <laughs> into the sunset! I love that, all right? And you're saying, why did I didn't use the whole thing? I can only use so much. The rule for copyright purposes is you use the amount you need of video you need to tell the new story and nothing more you don't show the whole damn telecast okay you use what you need and that's what I am, have done in this case now back to the point what I I was really disappointed that Katie Couric didn't show that kind of metal and strength that we've come to expect from anchors and you might be saying well maybe because you're reading a female and expecting a male affect and, you know, there might be something to that, but I'm going to say, uh, no, that's not the case. It, Katie is anxious to move on, but, you know, something else, a friend of mine in New York who's a TV producer said, the money that the Cronkites and the Brian Williams got in the past is drying up because CBS News is under the threat, of course, of cable, and cable in turn is under the threat, of course, of the Internet, and within the internet, we have TV going to the internet, and we have more media than ever before. So what does that mean if you have one ad dollar? It used to be that I ad dollar went either to radio, television, or print, or if you had enough money, some combination of the three. Then in nineteen then in nineteen eighty eight, television split and became cable. So now we have the five hundred channel universe. And then in the nineties, we had the internet. And then in the first part of the 21st century, the, the early 2000s from 2000 to 2010, we have mobile. That's five, we went from three, right, to five different types, actually six different types of media. Radio, network television, and print. Then we added the internet, 
and then we added, excuse me, then we added cable, then we added the internet, and then we add mobile. That's six types of media right now. And you say, okay, what's the, the next type? Um, who knows? MP3 over text? Hmm, ah, MP3 over text. That may be, okay? So that'll be number, that'll be seven types of media. And the bottom line is that you still have one ad dollar, okay? And that ad dollar has to go to pay a person like a Katie Couric. And if that ad dollar is split and she's on one of the six media channels, guess what? She gets less money. That's what she's facing. But I personally think that she should stick it out and say, hey, instead of doing the CBS Evening News that way, maybe we should make sure that the CBS Evening News is done in all these media effectively and we're spreading our ad dollar and we're attracting more ad monies from different ways and in different languages because it's expanding. That's the other thing. Right now they're trapped in English, but it should be in English, French, Spanish, Japanese. Anyway, I, but still, there's something about Katie's affect I just, I don't know, I just wasn't sold on. I just, uh, maybe, uh, maybe she just needs to, I, I hate to say she needs to move on. I really think that she needs to stay there for another five years. She needs to sit in that chair and dig in it. Well, that's me. What do you think?